Good morning, 1S students. I hope everybody is safe and sound. Today we will be discussing the commercial products. Commercial products are products sold in the market. They are either solids or solutions. Commercial solids or solutions are usually not 100% pure. What is meant by that? Let's just consider that you went to the market and you bought a dispenser that contains solid sodium hydroxide. They put on the label that this commercial product is 60% by mass. This means that if you take 100 grams of this product, you have 60 grams of pure NaOH and the rest are impurities. And the same goes for commercial solutions. Commercial solutions. Commercial solutions are usually solutions with high concentrations. In order to utilize or use commercial solutions for purposes like titrations, titrations are one of the most important reactions we have in chemistry. In titration reactions, we deal a lot with solutions. So these solutions must be diluted. Dilution process is carried out by adding distilled water to a sample of the commercial solution to increase its volume resulting in the decrease in its molar concentration. The addition of distilled water does not affect the number of moles of solute, but it affects the concentration of the solution by decreasing it. And this was uh, studied when we were uh, discussing together the uh, preparation of solutions by dilutions. So when you take a sample and you add distilled water to it, this causes the molar concentration to decrease. Like I mentioned uh, previously, the commercial solutions are not 100% pure usually. They could be 43%, they could be 60%, they could be 70%. Some of them could be 100% pure. And when they are not 100% pure, this means that they have some impurities along with the main solute, which is the solute that is considered the pure in the commercial solution. Percent purity or percent by mass of a commercial solution. The percent purity is equal to the pure mass divided by the mass of the commercial solution times 100. If we convert the mass into number of moles and molar mass, so instead of just putting pure mass, we can just simply plug in N0 times molar mass times 100 divided by, now, instead of writing down mass of commercial solution, we put down density times the volume of the solution expressed in liters. Remember, the density equals to the mass divided by volume. So the mass is the density times the volume expressed in liters. Now, having N0 divided by VL leads to C0. So instead of writing down N0 divided by VL, we can write C0, which is the initial molar concentration, times the molar mass of the solute, times 100, divided by density. Now, a very important note right here. The unit of the density has got to be in gram per liter. So if a certain value of a density is given to you and the number happens to be slightly less or higher than 1, then you have to multiply the value by 1,000. What do I mean by that? Let's just consider that we are dealing with a commercial solution that has a uh, density let's just say, of 1.12 gram per milliliter. To get it to gram per liter, you have got to multiply it by 1,000 to get it into the unit that needs to be plugged in in the expression of the percent purity. Now let's talk about the commercial solids. Commercial solids are solids containing the pure mass of the solid along with other impurities. Like I said before, Sometimes we buy a commercial solid that happens to have on its label 90% purity. This means that if you take 100 grams of this solid, you have 90 grams of the pure product found in it. Now, 
Let's look at the percent impurity of a solid in a commercial solid. The percent impurity or the percent by mass is just simply the pure mass divided by the mass of the commercial solid times 100. Now for the homework, please, page 35 in the book, numbers 7 and 8, page 36 in book number 12, pages 37 and 38, number 14. Thank you so much, guys.